Hey there, I'm back again. And today I wanted to answer a question from one of my subscribers, and uh, which is how to get pregnant. So the first thing we did or we didn't do was to treat trying to conceive the whole process as homework. I know there are people that have a calendar on their bedroom uh, door and they have uh, in, in read the days that are ovulating and they have a whole plan uh, to make uh, to make it work. We didn't really check for those days. We I didn't even know when I was ovulating. I, I had a, a vague idea because I know my cycle a little bit, but I did not plan the days that I wanted to have sex in order to get pregnant. I just did not want to see it as a chore. I didn't want to see it as homework. So we just uh, had sex regularly and uh, in a few months we conceived Matteo. So my first tip is don't treat it as homework and if you can, don't try to have sex the days that you're ovulating. Just have sex whenever you want, whenever you feel like it and uh, don't rush it. Because women sometimes can ovulate more than once a month. So you can actually try to plan, you know, I think I'll be ovulating this and that day. And it puts a lot of stress into the situation and I don't think it's necessary. So just don't do it as a homework. Don't do it as a chore. Another thing that is kind of in relation to the other, the, my first point is the stress. Stress can really ruin sex. And uh, if you are under pressure to try to work out those days and there's a lot of stress in the air and a lot of stress between you two, I do not think that a child can be conceived that way very easily. If you are stressed out, you probably won't enjoy it as much. And if he is stressed out because he knows that today is the day that we need to have sex, then he probably won't be performing as well either. So. If you don't have it as a homework and you're not stressed out, it's much, much easier to conceive. Another important factor that I think people should consider in order to conceive is enjoy sex. And uh, I know that makes a lot of sense for some people, but, but not for everybody. So if you are not stressed out, you would enjoy sex a lot more. And it is a lot easier to conceive when you are actually enjoying sex. And the last point I wanted to make when you're trying to conceive, you should try to live a healthy lifestyle. I know that, especially for women, they say once you get pregnant, there are certain things that you have to do that you shouldn't drink, you shouldn't eat um, a lot of fatty foods, and you should have a healthy diet. But in my opinion, it should actually start before when you're trying to conceive. And the same goes for your partner. I think they should both have a healthy diet. I have a couple of friends who are trying to conceive and uh, the doctors realize that he has a high cholesterol level. So uh, it could be one of the reasons and he also is very stressed out because of work. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that not only the woman needs to have a healthy lifestyle and, and, and eat well and, and exercise, the man also needs to have a healthy lifestyle because the healthier their, their lifestyle is, the uh, the quicker and more skilled their little buddies would be, if you know what I mean. So, be healthy, have a healthy lifestyle, and have a exercise. And you know a good way of exercise it is, right? So, um, I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I think those are very important factors in order to conceive. And uh, the most important, my most important advice to you is just really don't stress over it. Because I know people that have been trying for a long time, and uh, they just keep stressing out over it and it's just, it's actually making them very frustrated. It's not helping their relationship and um, it's not helping them conceive and it's actually making a dent in, in, in their day-to-day -day lives. So take it easy and enjoy sex. Anyway, uh, I will see you on my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.